Hello everyone, this is me Rohan. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine and in this video we are going to make a very game changer level home automation project that you might have never seen before. So let's get straight into this video. Moving ahead, let me introduce to our today's sponsor DF Robot. DF Robot is a well-known company specializing in open source hardware, robotics and STEM educational tools. They offer a wide range of products including microcontroller, microprocessor, IoT sensors, kits which is especially designed for makers, hobbyists, educators. It suits for everyone. Popular products from DF Robot include Gravity Series, Ro Boson kits etc. So I have received my parcel. Okay, so now it's time to unbox it and let's see what I have. So both the sensors are from Gravity Series. One is the Gravity Voice Recognition module. So this module doesn't require any internet. You heard it right. It doesn't require any internet. You can use it offline, which enhances its privacy, right? Apart from that, it has 121 pre-programmed commands, which are ready for immediate use without any setup. And not just that, you can record 17 custom IDs as well. Apart from that, it includes onboard speakers and microphone. It provides real-time recognition results. And apart from that, it supports both UART and I2C communications. All right, so here we have the sensor and there are some things that I wanted to clear it out with you guys. So let me just power it on. Uh, wait a minute, yeah. Yeah, so it's turned on and it is not uh, uh, listening any of my voice right now. It is listening, but uh, not taking any command commands right now because it is in uh, a standby mode. Okay, so to activate it, you have to just say hello robot. So it has been activated and after a few seconds, it will go back to the standby mode. Uh, you can set between 0 to 255 seconds. Okay. And the even you can set the volume of the speaker as well. I have set it to the max level of 7. Okay. So I wanted to clear this thing because it was very important. I am not going in the detail like uh, what to do, how to configure it and all. Because the reason behind that is the video gonna be too lengthy but in the description I have given the article from where you can find all the things related to this like how to configure it and how to give custom commands to it okay and even you can change this hello robot uh, thing uh, okay it's activated this hello robot way command to another it all mentioned in the uh, article so do refer that I am not going uh, to like go in detail the reason behind that is the video gonna be a too lengthy so that's why so yeah let's go ahead and second one is a gravity GR10 30 gesture sensor it has maximum recognition distance of 30 centimeter capable of recognizing 12 gestures supports both UART and I2C communication for more information, you can check their website. Link is given in the description. So now it's time to see what are the components required for making of this project. Things I have used in making of this project are first Arduino Mega Board, four channel relay module, voice recognition module, gesture sensor, and of course, some jumper wires. Now we're gonna see the connections. So the connection is very simple. So the I, since we have set it to I2C, so the ground is connected to the ground pin of Arduino, okay, and VCC is connected to the uh, VCC of the Arduino, and the SCL is connected to the SCL and SD is connected to the SDA pin of the Arduino, okay. After that, the voice module is connected to the same, but the difference is, uh, since we are using UART communication, so the RX pin is connected to the TX of the Arduino Mega and our TX pin is connected to the RX pin of the uh, Arduino, okay? And uh, in my case, like I have connected to 18th and 19th RX TX pin of my Arduino Mega, okay? So yeah, and after that, the relay module is connected with the positive and negative of the Arduino uh, Mega and all the pins apart from that are connected to two, three, four and five pins. So now it's time to see the programming section of this project. So yeah, here we have the code. Okay, so DF robot GR1030 and DF robot DF231Q has been uh, included to this board. 
uh, sorry, th to this program. So what they will do, uh, they are the sensor library, by the way. And of course, we have set up all the things like the relay pins. Okay. So let me just go down and yeah, you can see. So how this whole system works. So when we like do a swipe right in front of a controlling, uh, in front of the just a sensor. Okay. So what happens? It moves the selection to the next relay. Okay. And when we swipe left, it moves the selection to the previous relay. Example, if I do swipe right, uh, the initial position is in relay one. So it will move to relay two. And if I do swipe left, so it will go back to the uh, relay one. Okay. If I do the swipe up, it will turn it on. And if I swipe down, it will do the turn off. And as the gestures are detected, the relay respond immediately. And uh, updated status is displayed in the uh, monitor serial monitor okay moving on we will get this cmd id so what is this so this is a command ids okay so these command ids five six seven eight so these are the uh, custom uh, command ids that uh, you can make the link for making how to make this uh, custom ids is already provided in the article you can check it out link is given in the description okay so like over here the five uh, like in my case the case five uh, responds to like light on six for light off seven for fan on and eight for fan off so like that's how this uh, system works and we have the till 12 cases since we have four relays so yeah so and uh, of course uh, like if there is any unknown cm uh, uh, command id you will get it over there Okay, so this is how this whole system works. I hope you got it. So here we have the complete setup of our project. So I have connected three components to my four channel relay module. One is a 12 volt DC motor. That is a water pump motor. Okay, here we have a DC fan and we have connected a LED. So this is a kind of uh, not the usual uh, small LED. It is the LED like whenever we power it, it blinks. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just simply click on the serial monitor to get the output. So it says gesture sensor initialize success, voice recognition, uh, recognition module initialize success. Okay. That means we are good to go. So, uh, the position of the relay is initially set to one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply do like this. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't return. Yeah. So as you can see, it started uh, flashing the light. Let me turn it off. So it turned off. So it detected the gesture. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to use this uh, voice module. So I'm simply going to say, hello robot. Fan on. So as you can see, it started the fan and uh, now, and you can also see over here the, all the things. Right, so it says CM uh, unknown CM DIT uh, basically. So, whenever we uh, like call this bot, so the they we got some command IDs, right? So, I haven't set any uh, command ID as to that, that's why it is showing the unknown. And over here, you can see the uh, on and off, and over here, this seven represents these uh, command ID, okay. Now I'm going to turn it off using the just a sensor. Let me show you. So it is connected to the second or third might be. So let me just switch it to second, right? So as you can see, it says relay selected to now what I'm going to do, I am going to simply do like this. So as you can see, it turned off the uh, fan. Now for the motor, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like simply like this. So it says relay selected three. Now I am going to do like this. Ah, so it's a very old mot motor. So that's why it makes such noise. So it says relay three off. So you can see the project is working totally fine. So if you love this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also do check out the DF robot website. Link is given in the description. Meet you soon in the next one. Till then. Goodbye.